Well, hello everybody, I'm L.A. Little, and this is your daily Neo TA Wrap. We take a look at these markets, we do it from a neoclassical perspective each time, asking ourselves just one question, what happened today? What does it tell us about the coming days? Do this show four times a week, Monday through Thursday, broadcast it at or before 10 o'clock Eastern Time, it's archived on YouTube, available to you there under the channel L.A. Little. Subscribe, content's pushed, you'll be notified. It's an easy way to keep up with what's going on. As far as what happened today, uh, mixed day, we actually had a little strength in the technology today, but there was just really no um, desire to pay up. They, they, they pushed up higher to start the day, sold it off, and never, never came back. If we look elsewhere, bonds sold off again. They down there testing the lows. We'll look at that. Matter of fact, we'll look at that to start with. We had the dollar sell off again. We had retail sales come out this morning, weaker than expected. Gold surged on that news, up 20 bucks. Silver as well. So, you know, the, the farther we go along here, the more we find out uh, that this market uh, is looking more and more, and, and when I say the market, the, the, the general equities, uh, both here and abroad, looking more and more like sideways to down in our markets uh, overall. And a lot of that, or most of that, has to do with the economy. I mean, the economy is slower pretty much across the world. Moving to the charts, uh, I'm starting with the German bonds. This is the German bond. This is the daily. It was up today. And the reason I brought this up is because you know, the real driver right now in these markets is the bonds, not just here, but in Germany in particular. I mean, you know, if, if you look at, you know, they were almost negative. And this, this was like two weeks ago. And all of a sudden you're at 0. 0. 0.727. This high here is about 0. 0.77, I think. This is trying to set up an ABCD structure to actually take it up. And if you do the percentage calculation off of this, it take it up to 3%. Now, I don't know that it's going to do that anytime soon, but I mean, that, that, that's how dramatic, it gives you a feel for how dramatic this move is. The big sell-off spike was here. It looks to me like it's going to test into it tomorrow. And that's going to be the test, right? That's going to be where the rubber meets the road and we find out what this bond really wants to do. If we look at the monthly chart, let me grab that one. This is what the monthly looks like. I've marked in the swing point low back here. That's just at about 1.2. I think it's about 1.12. This thing is at 0.7. In other words, another 0.5 just to get to the retest region. If you look at it on a weekly, it doesn't even have a swing point low. It's been that dramatic of a decline. And we're talking about this decline here for a year, just straight down, right? From almost 2% or roughly 2%, straight down to zero. Now, big spike up. That spike on the way up now is, is really put a kink in those markets and in ours. Why in ours? Well, because in ours, it's doing the same thing to the treasury market here, where our 20-year bond and the 10-year as well continue to sell off. Today, it tests the low from yesterday. Remember, yesterday had a higher volume low. Today, we go in, we test it, we close over it, but the volume's slightly heavier, 15751 to 15637. It looks like it's going to test it again in the morning. And so we've got bonds testing, probably in Germany tomorrow, testing that the yields, testing uh, higher. And we've got these bonds selling off, yields going higher as well. So that's going to be the test tomorrow. We'll see what they want to do. Um, I think that's going to define what happens to this market. When we come back, we'll take a look at what the equities look like. If you are serious about trading, TA Today's Tools is the perfect service to help you reach your trading goals. Go to our homepage and click Use Our Tools. Here you will find an overview of this amazing service we offer to our clients. 
One of the tools you will have access to is the TAA Today charts. These charts visually map all the neoclassical concepts that LA writes and teaches about and is the perfect charting service for neoclassical traders. Learn the trend of a stock you're interested in and see this stock on all three time frames. To get started with a free two-week trial, go to our homepage, click Use Our Tools, and then click the Free Trial button. So as we come back here, before we skip to the equities, let's first take a look at the dollar because the dollar sells off again today, uh, spikes down below the low. That spike takes us on less volume on another ABCD structure down. But if we look at it, it actually completed today. And so, you know, I don't know if there's anything to get riled up about, but you've actually got an ABCD down, you complete it today, you have less volume on the break. And if we go back, remember we've talked about the weekly, if we go back to the weekly, it's down here testing into that low now on the weekly. Volume there was 12.9, we're doing 6 five on the way back. We're three days into five day week. That tells me the volume's not going to be there on that test. So the suggestion here is that what you're going to see is you could probably see the dollar turn around. Now if the dollar turns around, that's probably telling me or telling you, uh, well that's assuming it gets down here to do the test, right? But if it does that test, it looks to me like it's not going to be able to break it and that would give us some sort of a bounce, that bounce back into this area or even a little bit higher uh, would be the ideal uh, kind of situation. Uh, so, you know, it looks to me like the dollar, even though it looks to be breaking down farther, I don't know that it's going that farther. And if we go over to the two main components in it, one of them is the FXE. The top back here on the spike was 111.74. Today it gets over it, back under it, stays under it, has less volume. That's a failure trying to get higher off this spike. And if I look at the yen, the yen also is spiking up. It's just still in a big range. And if I look at the British pound, which is the other uh, piece of this, uh, the British pound itself was spiking today. That was the one putting the pressure on the dollar. There was a uh, talk of uh, QE in Britain scheduled to end in the middle of next year. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> it hasn't. It hasn't ended. You know when it was supposed to end like a year and a half ago. ABCD structure here finished, just about. So I suspect that you're going to see the dollar flip around. I also suspect you're going to see the bonds try to flip around, but those aren't in the cards yet. So if we go look at the equities themselves to see if there's anything here they might be telling us. The S&P pushes over back under yesterday's bar. So it pushed into resistance. You know, this is just a mess. Doesn't tell me anything. The only thing it tells me is this thing for some reason, somehow, some way, keeps holding in this higher range. I mean, that's, that's about the only thing this tells me. And actually that range is probably a little bit lower. It's probably about right to there. So, you know, how they do it beats me, folks, but they keep doing it. They keep hanging up here in this higher range. They've tested down here a few times, can't break it down. Today, tries to push up camp. You know, it's a mess. doesn't really tell me anything. Let's look at the uh, NDX, excuse me, the IXIC, which is the uh, NASDAQ. Now, the NASDAQ actually did something. It went into, there's two bars here. It went into the two breakdown bars. Uh, you got this one and this one. So the spike into that level, right, on both of those fails, no volume, right, as it goes into the higher volume spike here, the higher volume spike there. That looks like a failure to me. So the NASDAQ composite as a whole looks to have failed today. If we look at the NDX, now the NDX had gotten over the first of the breakdown bars and uh, it came back, right? Today tries to get back over it and fails again. So it fails one more time. That kind of underscores what just happened on the uh, broad composite. So failure is there. Russell can't even get to the breakdown bar. 
Uh, it, 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 just like the NDX, got over the first of the breakdown bars last week, or actually earlier this week. Well, it was actually Friday, right, on the employment number, then Monday, then Tuesday it tries to get back under it, just barely. Today tries to get back over it, fails again. Volume's not that different here, so, you know, this one's just consolidating. Now, you know, I, I don't do the classical TA stuff anymore, but if I were doing that, you know, I'd be looking at this as kind of a flag down on the other way, right? And instead of the flag on the upside, you know, this is the one on the downside, and, you know, they call them different names, but, you know, that looks like a consolidation after a drop, which usually in classical TA says that you're going lower. But right here, you know, all we have is an indication, and we have it on the other indexes, that they don't want to pay up to get in. Nobody wants to pay up, but at the same time, nobody wants to leave. Nobody in their right name wants to leave this market. You know, because as soon as they do, they know it's going to take off, or at least that's the fear. If we look overseas, which is really where all the action is, let's start in Europe. You know, Europe tries to push higher. That German bond problem attacks it again, trades lower, has lower volume. This is in France. Now, France had some better economic numbers than Germany did today, and they performed better as a result. But you're back into the high volume low bar. If you stay in there tomorrow, I suspect you're going to try to get to the bottom of it. Germany. It's in the bar, it's into it pretty good. Um, decent volume, that one actually looks like it's gonna try to trade lower. If we go over to Asia, Asia, Hong Kong, hanging here, trying to come back to that area we've talked about. If we look at the, um, let's see here, the large cap eight shares from the Hong Kong point of view. Uh, let me grab that chart. You've got kind of the same pattern, so a little rollover trying to come back into this gap area that we've talked about before. And if we look at Shanghai itself, you know, look at this rollover here, a little bit less volume, so you get to push down, the immediate bounce back up, which you have to expect, as it comes back into these big bars, and it hasn't been able to get to the breakdown bar yet. As it comes back into it, now it's starting to roll again. If they're down today, that's going to probably confirm some sort of a consolidation move truly is happening there, which we kind of suspect is. Japan, Japan is trying to make it to the top of the breakdown bar, and it does look like it's going to try to get there tonight. So mixed picture, um, I wouldn't say mixed picture, slightly negative picture pretty much across the world and in the U.S. markets. The key is going to be those bonds and how those bonds react. Let me look at my friends up in Toronto. Uh, they're trying to attack that bar. It looks like they're going to have the volume, so I suspect they're going to hold. My friends in Australia, let's see what they look like. Okay, so they had, they had broken down. Now they're coming back to do the retest, regen, bearish. So they're coming back into this bar. That will be the you know the test so we'll see how they test into it they're coming back with more volume within six bars that means they can get up into that area so Australia looks to bounce a little bit more how about my folks over in India let's see what they look like more volume under back over more volume uh, it's not good let's look at the nifty 50 while we're here same thing that one has less volume Mixed picture in India. And finally, Taipei for my friends in Taiwan. This is consolidation. It's going to bounce and it's probably going to fail as it gets back up into this area. Okay, so tomorrow, what do we got? I'd have to give it a slightly negative bias, but we're not talking big things here. Tomorrow looks like, uh, you know, the, the, the key is going to be what happens to the bonds. Do the bonds sell off farther? If they do, these markets are going down. You know, that's, that's the story. So if you want to watch something, watch the German bonds tomorrow. That's where the, that's where the tell is going to be. And that tell will have been told by the time we start trading. All right, have a great night. Thanks for joining me.
I'll see you next time. Take care.